Hey, River Church, how are you guys doing today? Uh, my name is Billy, and I'll be leading you all through today's devotional. Uh, I'm excited to see you guys. Um, I'm looking forward to that day. I know that we're trying to figure out when to uh, kind of open back up and do all those things, but just know that I can't wait to see you all, and I'm looking forward to that. Um, so I'm going to be leading you all through today's devotional, but I, wa I want to share a story with you guys first. Um, it kind of leads into uh, the devotional. But a few nights ago, I, I woke up in the middle of the night. I was asleep, woke up in the middle of the night. And uh, usually when I wake up in the middle of the night, it's because one of my two sons thinks it's necessary to crawl into our bed and to sleep right next to me. <laughs> um, when this happens, I usually wake up and I have a, one of my children, my child, my boys is right next to me. And I, you know, I'm on like, I'm a big guy. And so like, the bed is like right here and like I am like halfway off the edge of the bed and then my son is like right next to me. It's either like his whole body or his feet are pressed into my ribs or just something crazy, right? Whenever this happens, I look over and it's like my son and there's like all this bed space and my wife is sleeping super comfortably over there, which uh, she's awesome. So awesome. I'm not saying I want you to wake up. You're awesome. You do all the awesome things. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just, that's usually how I wake up at night. Um, but this night was different. Uh, it was a few nights ago and I woke up at 4 a.m. And it wasn't a slow wake up. It wasn't a groggy wake up. I wasn't tired. Like I woke up and I was like, let's go. Uh, I was, I was, I was alert. I was, it was just, it was weird. Like I was, I woke up and I was, my mind was going. Um, but I had this thought, I had this verse that was just in my head, uh, this thought that was in my head. And it, it seems as though like I woke up just to have this thought. <clears throat> and, uh, and it's just this idea of love, right? And, 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 and in this case, it was uh, the thought that I had was, was, was revolving around love, but this idea, and it's from, from John chapter uh, 13 verses uh, 34 and 35, and it's where Jesus, he, he had just finished his uh, washing his disciples' feet, right? He's about to leave his disciples. He's about to go through the uh, the betrayal and crucifixion and, all, and the resurrection and all that, but it's just before that. Um, and he, like I said, he had just finished washing his disciples' feet, and and uh, he, he, he tells him, he says, I give you a new commandment. Love one another. Love one another. Just as I have loved you, you must also love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. And this thought was in my head. And, and I was like, man, we, we, we live in a, in a time, in a culture, in a society where man, everybody just it's so easy to pull apart, so easy to be against it's so easy to not agree and to, to dislike uh, someone else or, or, or whatever the case. Maybe it's a uh, political uh, background. Maybe it's just your neighbors. Maybe it's your, I don't know. But there's just, it's so easy to be divided in our, in our, in our country, in our, in our society. And, and I just have this, this thought, this pressing thought of unity, of love, of coming together, right? <clears throat> I, want, I want people to know Jesus. And I would... I would imagine uh, as a Christian, like everybody, all Christians would want people to know Jesus. Um, and, and what better way to do that than to love, love well. And so uh, Pastor Randy talked about uh, on Monday, the, he, he gave us this encouragement, this strategy, this uh, a few steps to, um, to how to re-enter back into uh, society. Um, if you haven't checked out the, that devotional, man, uh, go check it out. It, it was awesome. Um, but he gave us some steps to enter back in. And so I want to, I want to add on to that, or I want to uh, say along with that, like as we enter back in, as Texas starts to open back up again, as we start to go to the gyms and to church and and to the store and to the beach and all of these things, I pray that our attitude is one that is marked by love, by this unifying love, right? If anyone uh, is going to have anything to say against us, don't let it be that 
we don't love well. Like let, let us love well. Let us love unconditionally. Let us love the way that Jesus loved his disciples uh, just before this passage, where, or just before the section where he's washing their feet, right? This servanthood, this love. And, and, and as I was saying, as we go back to the gyms, as we go back to society, as we go back to normal life, let, us, let, our, let our lives be lives that are marked by love. Um, I want to close out uh, from this, um, from 1 Corinthians. And so uh, oftentimes, and I'll just tell you a little bit about me, oftentimes I try to think of systems and strategies and, and how to do things and, 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 and all of these plans, right? Um, but I want those plans to be marked by love. And, and I'm, I'm going to read this. Hopefully it's an encouragement to us. Um, it's from 1 Corinthians 13, and, and it's the first few ver verses. Um, um, it says, if I speak the languages of men and of angels, but do not have love, I am a sounding gong or a clanking cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and understand all the mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all the faith so that I can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. And if I donate all my goods to feed the poor and I give my body to be burned, but do not have love, I gain nothing. And then the rest of First uh, Corinthians 13 just talks about what love is. But I would encourage us, uh, above all else, let us love well. Let us love Jesus, love the Lord with all our hearts, minds, and soul. And let us love our neighbors as ourselves. I love you, River Church. I'll see you guys next week.